Welcome back, fishing freaks. Pollen going crazy right now. Wind blowing 20 to 30. Trees just swaying. We haven't had a ton of rain this year to really get the creeks flowing, but also it hasn't been a, a drought and I don't think they're gonna be dry. So I'm really curious to see what the creeks are gonna be looking like. I have a few of them that are around me. You know, it's a pretty long hike. I got a bum knee right now because on the dangle with one rod and John the other day, something just popped like a, a guitar string in my knee it's done that since last deer season and it's uh, man it's like every couple months it just pops i don't know what it is it takes me like three weeks to recover so we're going to be hopping on the baku today we're going to be holding our danglers on that thing i'm actually not sure what's the best i might go two-piece rod up front with the bow rack right here that might be easier i think it's going to be kind of a rough ride it's going to be adventurous we're going to take all the gear just I'm not gonna put it together. I'm just gonna take it, take it as it is. I'm gonna put it together when I get there because I think it's gonna be rough. I don't want anything bouncing out. The new ultralight rod. Uh, this is a one piece right here. It's the only one I have. I wish I had a two piece, it would be perfect. I don't wanna take my gold series because they're seven foot and this one is I think just over six. I'm gonna be in amongst trees. It's gonna be nasty down in the creek, so I want a really short rod. The ultralight is perfect for the creek fishing. So I'm gonna take that, take a green series reel, and I've got a couple of tackle boxes already in my little saddle bag here. Just a, a bunch of different stuff for maybe encountering some white bass, uh, possibly a crappie, but I doubt it. Uh, some gills, maybe even largemouth, you know? They've been just jumping on the line lately. Let's find a creek and let's see if we can catch something. expecting this water looks clean y'all let's, let's get a rod and reel together and see if we can catch something looks like our rod held up pretty good still one piece one piece rod still one piece so that's good news put my reel inside of here assemble that reel wa bam Stick it on the rod. I actually have a gold series handle on here because I lost my, my green series reel, uh, reel handle. And so if you have both of those, just know they are interchangeable. This uh, this mini this mini recon because I feel like that clear color too in this water. I feel like I could get anything on it. Bass, white bass, crappie. All right, saddled up on my horse here. My saddle bag. The only problem with this is I won't be able to fish into the cover very much, but I want to just try throwing around on the outside for a bit, see if there's any chasers. It's 
especially white bass just kind of out in the middle and it is snake season so let's watch out for danger noodles shall we here we go oh yeah Clear waters. Not be surprised to see a bass spawning up in here either. Ooh, that little crankbait looks nice. Danger Noodle City. Oh gosh, there we go. Smashed. It looks like a little white bass. Little white bass running. Hey, what you get? I got me a white bass. Right. Y'all caught anything? Yeah, we caught two or three. Cool. You say you got a crappie? Yeah. Well, that's great news. Ooh, the crappies might be moving up back here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's move a little bit. Danger noodles, stay away. Ooh, there goes something. Something just slithered off there. Oh, there's one. Got him. Oh, it's a runner. Oh, it feels so good on this ultralight. Oh, come here. Come here, little micro. Oh, you're bigger than that last one. I mean, knock the pain off of it. Not literally, but figuratively. A hit on a ultralight rod. Oh, it feels amazing. Dang. Should have brought my pliers. That one absolutely crushed it. Go. Knife will suffice. Throw them back. Just fishing for fun today. Unless we just start loading up the crappie and we have to go get another saddle on the Baku. Just bring back a big sack of them. Ooh, just got hit again. As soon as I got off in that little channel, just bop. Make cast back this way. Oh, there's one. Oh my gosh. I mean, the hit on this little rod is fantastic. This one feels like it's got some girth. What's going on here? Oh yeah, that's a good one. On this rod, Are you kidding me? That is fun. I mean, that's a, that's a legit keeper. A good eater too. Oh, love to see that right there. Got you behind the gill plate there, and I'm not sure what you're gonna do. There you go. All right. Oh my gosh, he hammered it. All right, y'all. White bass officially running up in the creek here. This is 
is what I really wanted to see today. That one is juicy fat. Look at that. Male. Male spitting out his spawn juices. Love to see it. Little crankbaits like this are an excellent choice for this type of fishing. White bass just eat them up. I've never really got on a good crappie crankbait bite, but I'm sure if the right circumstances called, it would do pretty well. But my gosh, I don't know how many white bass I've caught on crankbaits. I don't know how many white bass I've caught on crankbaits not meaning to while bass fishing. They just attach to them. Come on, big and tap my line. I can't even imagine getting a, a five pound bass on this pole. The, the light, which is my favorite rod, the micro in the micro series, it's just that gold series light. That's one I use all the time for crappie. I've got like four of them. I mean, that's a noodle. But this thing is an absolute buggy whip. But now y'all can see what I was talking about with the rod length. All these trees hanging around behind me. It's just gnarly. Definitely want a compact pole when you're fishing this kind of stuff. Tell you what, if it was sunny, I might be able to see a bass on a bed back here. Huh? Come on now. My man, somebody sat here with Coors Light. Caught him a bunch of fish on the, on the river. A little creek fishing. That's a good old Saturday night there. Another reason I wanted to come out here today is just it's so windy. The main lake, whew, it would be brutal. This is pretty nice, all the trees. Oh, all right, time for a little change up. Fish this spot for a little bit. So we've gotten three white bass bites. Take that lure off, that nice little buddy there. Mostly crankbaits in here, but got a couple little roosties. That one's probably too heavy. Throw this light little buddy right here, see if we can get some. Probably gonna hang the bottom. At least with the crankbait, you got that bill and you can sort of slow work it and deflect it up around some brush there's no deflecting with an exposed treble hook like this with no no bill no guard no nothing uh, a little different look here let's see if we get something on that Oh, I got one. Wah bam. Got one on the roosty. Oh, come on. Oh, you're getting me all up in the deal. Come on, man. Oh, you're good. Get out of there. Get out of there. There you come. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big ends. These are good fat keepers. Noise. Little change, little change in look. Sometimes that's what you got to do in all these creeks that are getting a lot of pressure. I've already seen six anglers in a hundred yard stretch. It's getting a little heat.
Oh, get the bite. There he is. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bring me the meats. Oh, yeah. Got no control over you. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, little Moosey might be the program. Old buddy just hammered it. It gone. Dang, y'all. This is fun. This is so much fun on this pole. Another keeper. Just to confirm. The old meat getter here. Oh, yeah. That's a 10. That's a 10. That'll keep. That'll eat. I don't have my bucket to, to ride them home. I may have to come back here with a bucket. I haven't been able to catch any of these puppies on the main lake. Oh my gosh, there's another one. Oh yeah, little micro buddy. Up there on that ridge. A little more manageable. Oh, that's a bluegill. Look at that. Second species. True bluegill. Not a hybrid. Well, bam. Dang, y'all. Catching me some dinner. Oh my gosh, they're jumping over here too. Oh my gosh, I'm getting hammered. I'm, you know, I'm getting tattooed up there on that little... Something's going on up there. Oh, buddy. Buddy. Oh, yeah. I think I just got another little bump. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, I'm getting tattooed. Oh, no. I've got a... Got a, uh, got a knot. Not good knot. She done got tied up. Hang on. Brief pause. Oh, wow. I just, I should have kept that camera rolling because I forgot to thread the line through my bale on the spinning rod. So, couldn't reel in. And then everything got tangled again. Got tangled around my GoPro, got tangled in trees on the ground. So anyway, you guys missed about five minutes of uh, me fumbling with wind and stuff with the spinning pole. All right, so that sometimes happens. You get those little wind, or not wind knots, but twisted knots. Oh my gosh, I have another one right now. Is this real life? Okay, here we go. When you throw these little spinners like this, twist your line up. I don't have a swivel on the front of this. So while this thing is twisting, my line is twisting up. Dang, I was on a little hot streak too right there. Just getting bang bong. It was like the school was activated right there in front of me. Bam. Another one for the grease, but not today. Oh yeah. Wish I had a little snap swivel in my box. You know what? I am going to switch. I'm gonna switch from this just because it's twisting my line so much. I'm going to put on a little crappie jig and a, and a swim. Oh, yeah. We have the unit. This one's a little heavier than I want, but I didn't know if I had a one with a blade on the back. A little underspin. That's great. That's great. But, actually, you know what? I'm gonna smack one of these chubby grabbies on this thing. That's a little biscuit right there. Take old Twisty Magoo off here. I don't feel as confident in that for white bass, but I really don't want to have to deal with another twisting line. I don't have 
these snap holes. The speedy bank dangle. Alright, I'm gonna give everyone down the pipe right here. Let's see what she's got. Oh yeah. Distance with that bad boy. It's gonna be a fast sinker though. I think fishing that little spinner, inline spinner slow was very good. It's cold. Water's chilled off here the last few days. Let's see how this looks. Oh, it looks pretty darn good. Oh, there's one. Yes. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. White bass love that chubby grubby. Look at that rod bending. Oh my gosh. They like a chubby grubby. A chubby grubby. And I just got one hook. Just get it right out, let them go. Wabam. Okay, I'm going to switch back to the Micro Recon. But I'm going to go with this little craw color. I went with the Ultra Clear Water color. Caught a few. I want to see what this will do. And then we're going home. combo right here. This is nice. There's just no way to throw these little crankbaits on typical bass gear. You gotta throw them on spinning stuff. Light spinning for this little guy here. Okay, come on. Come on. The knee is done. The knee is over. Time to go home. Go. Hey. Oh, oh God. Oh man. Okay. I'm gonna give it five more casts. Come on, buddy. Hit it. Did I just come up here on the apex of the bite? What? It's one. Two. Quality. Quality casts. Three. All right, four. Four. Come on, big money. Big money cast right there. Just kidding. I got you guys though. Last cast. Here we go. Oh no, that's in a tree. That's way up in a tree. That's not quality. Oh, I got it out. Get a redo on that one. Get a redo. I think that there's a little bit of current coming back this way. There it is, right there. That is the one. Come on now. Paul last nail of reel right here. Nail of Oh, there he is right there. Oh my gosh, I cannot make that up. Last cast. Cannot make that up. It was meant to be, ladies and gentlemen. They do hit a red crank. All right, not, not a keeper. But fun times, buzzer beater, baby. Those are fun, and anything you catch on this rod, legitimately. I mean, that fight right there, awesome. A bluegill is fun on this thing. 
But that was a good time, and I'll drink to that. Okay. We ride. See what's broken here. That was a good one. Oh, micro dangler. Good to go. Phone, good to go. Seat slightly bumped over. Battery looks good. Bike looks good. hard. I'm going to put her away wet. That was fun, y'all. And it was good exercise. It was good. It was good for the knee. Got a little muddy, but it was worth it. Found some Golden Krispies. I may just have to go back there and get a couple of those for the dinner table. That'd be kind of cool. Just ride back, put a little cooler right here. Just come back with some Krispies. Boom! I like this plan. I like it a lot. So thank you guys for tuning in today and doing a little creek fishing action with me. Uh, I've been out on the boat so much lately. It was kind of nice just to get out on the bank and see what was going on uh, up at a creek. And quite honestly, uh, I was impressed with what was going on up there. Um, you know, just compared to everything else I've, I've been seeing on, on the main lake, uh, the creeks might be a deal. I might need to get the crispy collector fired up and get to going up in some of these creeks. I think I think now is the time. If y'all want to get your hands on uh, one of the micro sticks, the ultralight, you can use my promo code LFG at checkout and get those. Those are on GugginSquad.com. Or if you want to get one in store, if you're around here, you can go up to our warehouse in Crum, shop our, uh, all, we got all the rods there. We even got the Black Series there. So go check them out. And as always, Fishing Freaks, thank you for tuning in to each and every episode in the great outdoors. We adventure more. We get in the truck, take the silver bullet, we doing, we doing some bass. Coming up here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Stay tuned for more outdoor action. I'll see y'all next time.